In this video we're going to be looking at how you add and subtract fractions. We're going to start off by looking at fractions with common denominators. So if you have something like um, 4 ninths plus 1 ninth, then you can think of this in much the same way as you would say, if I, if I said to you, what is, how many cars would I have if I had 4 cars and I had 1 car? you'd say you had five cars. So four ninths plus one ninth is five ninths. Okay, so it stands to reason. So this means that if the denominators are the same, then you can just add the numerators, add the tops. So this allows us to do something like two thirteenths plus five thirteenths would be seven thirteenths or um, 17 twentieths take away 4 twentieths is 13 twentieths. Okay, so 17 take away 4 is 13. So you can add and subtract fractions very easily when the denominators are the same. If, however, they're not the same, then we get into the realm of ever-increasing difficulties. If you had something like uh, 9 tenths and you wanted to take away 1 fifth, then you can utilise both of your knowledge of equivalent fractions and the knowledge that you have now the, when you, you can add and subtract fractions when the denominators are the same. So if I just look at this fraction, and I pull it to one side for the moment, and I think to myself, wow, okay, so one-fifth is something over ten. So just like we did when we were looking at equivalent fractions, if I multiply the bottom by two, I multiply the top by two, so one-fifth is two-tenths. So we could write this as nine-tenths take away two-tenths. So the one-fifth I've replaced with the two-tenths. So now that the denominators are the same, I can just go nine take away two is seven. So the answer is seven-tenths. So if the denominators are, well, if you are able to write one of the fractions as an equivalent fraction where to make the denominators the same, then perfect, and that will work for you. However, there are going to be cases where it's not as nice as this. If you have a situation where you've got something like two sevenths plus one ninth, then we've got a problem in that it's not particularly easy to find a number that goes into both seven and nine, or that rather uh, that seven and nine are both factors of. So. The way to do this is to, in much the same way as we did before, find equivalent fractions that work. So 2 over 7, if you multiply both of these by the 9, top and bottom, then you get 18 over 9 times 7 is 63. So these two fractions are equivalent to one another then if you multiply the 1 and the 9 by the 7, then you get 7 over 63. So that means this fraction is equivalent to this one. So we now have two equivalent fractions, and the brilliant thing is that the denominators are the same. And when they are the same, we can just add the top two numbers. 18 and 7 is 25. 
And that's how we can add two fractions together. So if I started off in, with another example, um, let's say I've got five sixths and I want to take away um, three tenths. Then I notice that, well, six, ten, it's not going to be easy. So I'm going to, I would have to multiply both. So I'm going to multiply 5 and 6 by the 10. So 5 times 10 is 50, and 6 times 10 is 60. I'm going to multiply both the 3 and the 10 by the 6. So 3 6s are 18, and 3, uh, sorry, 6 10s are 60. And I've been told that I need to subtract these it's a subtraction there. So now I've got 5 sixths is equivalent to 50 over 60, 3 tenths is equivalent to 18 over 60, so 50 over 60, take away 18 over 60, is 32 over 60. Okay, so now with our knowledge of simplifying fractions, this fraction can be simplified by dividing top and bottom by 2, which will get us to 16 over 30. Divide top and bottom by 2 again, we get 8 over 15. And that is as far as you can possibly go with that fraction. So, when it comes down to it, adding and subtracting fractions is much in the same way as before, but trying to find these equivalent fractions to make the denominators the same, which will allow you to combine the fractions, whether it be an addition or a subtraction.